Okay, so what I got in here is one really big block of spalted maple, another little block of spalted wood, a couple other little pin blanks, and then some bog oak pin blanks. And we're going to see how this works. I like being able to look in from the top here. And bubbles are quick. Especially out of that old uh, spalted maple. That's probably been sitting in the shop for about five years. Right now we're up to about 15, 20 PS, uh, 20 inches. Watching the level of the bubbles. Making sure it doesn't overflow, uh, over, overflow on me. We're at 25 inches. And I know that this, this little pump in this container will go all the way down to 29 inches without an issue. Twenty seven inches. Twenty eight. Looking good. Lots and lots of bubbles. Not overflowing though. That's why I opted to get a larger pot and do it in a container in a container. That way I had no worries about it flowing up and into my vacuum tube and uh, damaging my pump. We're at 29, 29 and a half. I'm going to let it keep pumping for a minute, keeping an eye on my bubbles. Sitting in a container below this one is actually coffee beans, which I started earlier. Uh, I don't have them weighted down, so they're just floating on top of about an inch of the uh, uh, cactus juice and I'm just going to see if they will eventually settle down into it once all the air has uh, been pulled out of them or if I need to actually weight them down further. I need to go get a little piece of uh, screen type material to, to weight them down easier. <clears throat> okay, it looks like the bubbles are receding now. And I will probably leave these in here overnight. Ooh, some big bubbles. Leave these in here overnight uh, under pressure or under vacuum. Uh, and then break my vacuum tomorrow. <clears throat> and I'm covered up by about an inch worth of the cactus juice. So hopefully... Uh, Hopefully it won't draw down below where they uh, and expose the wood. If not, if they do, then I'll just have to add more juice and pull another vacuum on them. Yeah, the bubbles are really starting to drop down now. You can actually see the surface of the cactus juice when those larger bubbles pop. Looking good.
and it's actually showing that I'm at 30 uh, 30 inches now I'm actually going to close my valve turn off my pump let them sit for a while like that you can see my valve's off now I don't think you can get much better vacuum Lots and lots of bubbles. It's all the air being pulled out. And once the air is all pulled out, you turn your, uh, you release your vacuum pressure, and the resin goes into the space taken up by the air before. Bubbles are really thinning out now. You can almost see the surface of the cactus juice even through the bubbles now. Now this pot that I have is from Best Value Vax and the, it came as a kit with the pot and this little uh, vacuum pump everything was already put together the only thing that you had to do was the gasket here uh, they don't send it on the uh, on the lid you just have to put it on which is just a big rubber band type material uh, so it wasn't all that difficult and then the only adjustment that I had to do was this uh, hose this nib um, and the hose didn't seat well so I just wrapped the nib in a, uh, some Teflon tape and it works fine now. So that was the only adjustment I had to do to this entire thing. I think the uh, whole system uh, runs about uh, $270. And this is for a large, uh, I think this is a five gallon pot. Plenty of room in it as you can see. And there's the juice peeking through. So we've been running eight minutes now since I started this video. And the back's done good. Pressure still showing at minus 30 inches right at. I'd say probably about 90% of the air is now out of those blanks. I'm going to end the video in just a second and just let it sit for a nice long time and I'll come back to it later and, and check on it. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll cut the vacuum, uh, vacuum pressure once. 99.9% .9 of the bubbles are, are gone. So if a few little bubbles are coming here and there, that's fine. But... Uh, you want most of them gone. I've got some extremely punky wood that I'm going to do this with later. And I'm sure it will pull a lot of bubbles and a lot of resin will go into them. Uh, this stuff, it's bolted maple but it feels almost like balsa. This, this block was a, a good bit uh, yeah, denser. Okie doke, I'm going to leave it right there.